Um, welcome again to our 100 days of prayer, dear brethren, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I hope that you are fine. Today is day 83 of our 100 days of prayer, and we want to thank God for this Father that He has brought us. We have been looking at wonderful lessons of um, how we can uh, uh, be ready to receive the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit can work in our hearts and the way we can be healthy. Um, this week, um, in, a better, in a good part of this week, we have been looking at how we can make ourselves healthy or what we need to do to live in accordance to the will of God and today we are continuing with this and we are looking at the importance of nature today we are looking at the importance of nature and but before we uh, continue I would request you to humble yourself so that we can invite heaven in our midst our heavenly master we come before thy throne of grace at this moment we thank you for the moment you have given unto us to listen unto thy word because Jehovah God, it is you who has given us the gift of life that we are enjoying at this moment. May you bless us even as we uh, go through this lesson and as we look at your word. May the Holy Spirit interpret it to us, O Jehovah God, and may it dwell in our hearts so that Jehovah God will not only uh, listen to it and not do anything, but Father, may you help us to do what is in accordance to thy will and what the word will tell us. Thank you because you are faithful and you have heard our prayers, for we are pretty shortly breathing and trusting in that word of name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our key verse for today comes from the book of uh, Genesis 2, verse 15. I love the book of Genesis because we see um, everything and it's the source of everything. We see everything, where everything came from. And um, it explains of the source of our lives also. Genesis 2, verse 15, the Bible says that then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend and keep it. Yeah. So when God created man, where did he position him or where did he take him? He took man in the garden of Eden and he admonished man to live in that garden and to take care of it. In a majority of the world's population today live in the urban centers. They live in the cities, surrounded by man-made fissures and man-made things and structures, breathing polluted air of the industries and bombarded with const constant noise. It is hard to have quiet, reflective time with God and to enjoy his wondrous work of nature in that condition or in that environment. For example, if you look at the major population of even the Kenyans, most of them, they live where? In the cities. People are fighting uh, to the nail to be in the cities, to be where people are crowded. Look at uh, our, our environment here. There is no enough trees. There is, there is a lot of pollution, yeah? sewage passing everywhere. There is um, uh, uh, air pollution because of the industrial emissions that comes uh, comes forth. So it is uh, the city, city is somewhere where there is no peace, there is no um, uh, freshness. Yeah. How much of your time, maybe if I ask, do you take in nature? How much did you of your time do you take to go outside there to visit the nature, to breathe fresh air, to be where there is no pollution, where there is no noise, where you can only hear the humming of the birds and maybe uh, see one or two animals? Yeah. How many uh, does that in our lives? Many will tell you that that is old-fashioned. Many will tell you that they don't have that kind of time. The, nowadays, what they do if they want to see 
see nature, they see it in their sofas or in the comforts of their houses. And what do they do? They switch on their televisions, maybe in animal, uh, um, uh, and then they put in uh, channels that are showing animals and they switch on their uh, mobile phones. If they want to, to see nature, they, they look at their phones and they see animals there. But that is not enough. That is not enough because it will be very uh, difficult for someone to reflect upon the uh, goodness of the Lord or upon nature and how creative God is when you are confined with your digital gadgets. However, spending time in nature refreshes the body and mind. Scientists have proven that, that when you take time in nature, when you go to a park, um, and it is a good park, which is maybe uh, you say, say like Arboretum, where it's only the nature you can see, there is no a lot of artificial uh, uh, environment there, or you go to Nairobi National Park, then you get inside th those forests and see the nature, or visit the animals there. I think it, it, it will refresh your mind. Ellen White, my favorite uh, author in the book Ministry of Hearing, page 54, she says this, Christ loved to gather the people about him under the blue heavens on some grassy hillside or on the beach beside the lake. Remember the synagogues were there where he could have called people come and let us stay or let us hear or, or you could have spoken to them in the synagogues, in the cities, in the midst of the cities. But many a times he passed through the cities, he corrected people or the multitude would fall him and where was he going in the mountains all in the, uh, 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 at the uh, rick side and that's where he could have given them lessons for example the beautiful lessons that we saw um, of the beatitudes and um, we saw last week the, the, the other week we were looking at them where was christ and the mountain yeah so uh, Aaron white says that jesus took people beside the lake all and on some grassy hillside where they could see uh, the marvelous work, handwork of God. Here, surrounded by the works of his own creation, he could turn their thoughts from the artificial to the natural. In the growth and development of nature were revealed the principles of his kingdom. As men should lift their eyes to the hills, um, of uh, to the hills of God and behold the wonderful works of his hand they could learn precious lessons of divine truth. The reason why man was placed in the garden of Eden so it's that he could reflect upon the wonderful handwork of God, the wonderful creation of God. And he could experience God in his re reality in that uh, uh, creation. Remember the hostilities we are seeing today in our, our, our environment, in our nature, it is not because that was what God intended us to face, but it is because of degradation of sin. That's why we can see what we are seeing. God had created everything perfect. In the book of Genesis 1, verse that 1, the Bible says that, and God looked, and everything that he had created was indeed very, very good, not only good, but very good. Therefore, God created everything that he created good, and he created it to benefit man. He created it to benefit you. He created it to benefit me. Dear brethren, it is a high time that we, uh, we, 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 we uh, start experiencing the benefit or the importance of nature. When you feel that you are sick, there is somewhere that you can get healing, and that is where nature is, where there is cool breeze 
of air, where there is no pollution, where there is no noise of the artificial things, loudspeakers or anything, where there is no disruptions of people. You just go there, sit down in that nature and just listen to the music that the, 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 the leaves, are, the wind and the leaves are, are, are producing. Just sit there and listen to the sweet music of the birds. Remember even Solomon, the most wisest person in this world or the most uh, the person who was given wisdom that no one else have ever had even to date would spend his time with the nature he would go listen to the birds and by the way he could even understand what the birds are saying it is a high time that we turn to nature so that the nature can teach us of the goodness of the lord it is a high time that we refresh our minds that we refresh our health by, by our health by going where there is fresh air by going where there is no noise by going where there is no uh, 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 pollution so that we can spend time with our lord there remember Ellen White have advised us that even in the latter days, the ideal place to live is in the mountain or in the village, country living, where there is freshness, because many sicknesses are lifestyle diseases which are brought by the environment where we live in, which are brought by what we eat, which are brought by what we breathe. And to avoid that, those diseases, it is good that we spend time where there is school, a uh, uh, breeze where there is fresh air where there is no pollution may god bless you as you take this crucial decision that many a times when you are free or when you want to enjoy and to have uh, 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 or to to meditate upon your relationship with god you will take that moment to go to the nature and to speak with your god to hear from god in nature remember jesus took people outside where there was nature and he directed them he shifted their minds from the artificial environment and he took them to the original environment or to the, uh, the environment which would bring them uh, the ideal uh, mindset of thinking about the creation of god God is good and all the time he is good and even his nature is good and we should take advantage of the nature that we have been given by our, by our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you my dear viewer for the time for your time and at this moment as we go to the Lord in prayer I want you to utter that request that you have in your heart. Just tell it to Jesus in faith and because he is faithful he will answer you according to his riches in growth. Shall we pray? Our kind and loving Master in heaven, we are grateful and thankful for the opportunity you have given unto us to study your word. May your Holy Spirit dwell in our hearts so that Jehovah God, he will emphasize to us the importance of your creation. Indeed, you created the whole world and you put it, you put us in the Eden, in the Garden of Eden so that we can enjoy the work of your hands, O Jehovah God. And we want to thank you for the wonderful creation that you did. For indeed, it is nice and it is refreshing to be where there is fresh air, where there is no pollution. But Father, we ask that may you give, give us that heart to uh, like the nature so that most of our times we not spend the, our times in, uh, in digital platforms, in screens and in our phones, but we can take some times to go and enjoy nature outside there in the parks or in the forest so that we can be able to refresh our mind and also to think and meditate upon your goodness. Thank you for my dear viewer. May you be with him or her. And the prayers that he has posted before the throne of grace, Jehovah God, I pray that may you answer that prayer in accordance to thy will, O Jehovah God. Thank you for our country. Continue fighting for us. Continue being with our government, our uh, doctors and those who are fighting, who are helping us fight this COVID, uh, the spread of uh, COVID-19. May you be with them and cover them under your wings, O Jehovah God. Thank you for everything that you have done unto us, O Jehovah God. And listen 
listening even to our prayers. I know you will answer our prayers according to your riches in glory. And more than that, oh for God, you continue even preparing us for your eternity. We have prayed this shortly, believing and trusting in that wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. May God bless you, my dear viewer. Continue sharing the message so that it can reach many and remember to stay safe.